Hey guys, good afternoon, it's Callie. Today I'm going to show you how I created this beautiful tile for this month's Gypsy and Witch project. Our theme was the March Hare, and I tied it in with the Spring Equinox, and I created this really cool tile that you could use as an altar decoration, a wall hanging, even a coaster. So I know you're going to love it. I would love it if you stick around and check out how I did it. And when you're done, don't forget to check out my Gypsy sister, Miss Rita Marie, and our group, The Gypsy and Witch, on Facebook. See you in a minute. Okay, guys, here's what you're going to need for today's project. First thing you're going to need is an old CD or a DVD. doesn't matter what's on it. We're going to be covering it up. The next thing you're going to need is some type of a free graphic. I googled free spring equinox images. You know, you can customize this project with whatever you'd like. So a free graphic. The next thing I chose to use was some of this satin cording. And this is just to edge the tile. This is kind of optional. Or you could use the cording or trim of your choice. Um, I also have some purple felt. Any color felt that you'd like for the backing. A uh, piece of wax paper just to help us burnish, cover our project. The next two things are optional depending on how you'd like to display the tile. Um, if you'd like it to display flat, you're just going to use the felt. But if you'd like to make a stand, I have some 18 gauge wire here that we can twist up a quick stand. Or if you'd like to hang it on the wall, I like to use these little pop top tabs, optional. As far as tools go, you're going to need a good pair of scissors, or an old pair of scissors, an X-Acto knife, an old paintbrush, I used a tape measure, I have a Sharpie or any kind of a mark making pen. I chose to use this silver leafing Krylon marker to edge the tile. Again, this is optional. Use your imagination. I have a small spatula, again, to help burnish, and also a pair of round nose pliers. As far as adhesives go, um, I love to use my Aileen's Clear Tacky Glue. I have some Americana Decoupage Matte Medium, some Americana Triple Thick Brilliant gloss glaze, and if you choose to do the pop tab, you're going to need a strong glue like E6000. So I'll be right back and we'll get started. The thing you're going to want to do is trace around your CD on your image as well as your felt. Okay, and you can see I've already done this here. I just used my Sharpie, it doesn't matter what you use. And you can see there's a bit of an edge around here. I wasn't able to get the image the exact size of the CD. If that doesn't bother you, you can leave it alone. If you don't like it, that's where I chose to use the Krylon marker. Um, and I just went around and colored that in. Okay. So I'm going to do that. And cut these out. Cut out your image as well as your felt when you're done coloring. And I'm going to do that, and I'll show you what we're looking at. Okay, guys, super simple, right? <laughs> the next thing we're going to do is attach these to our CD. So the order in which you do that is up to you, but I'm going to attach the graphic first and then the felt on the back. And I'm going to attach the graphic with that Americana decoupage, and I'm just going to take an old brush and I'll put some in a palette dish, and I'm not going to pay any attention to this hole here. If that bothers you, you could put a piece of masking tape or something over it, but it's not going to be an issue. And I'm just going to put some of this on here like that, and I'm going to coat the back of this. If you want, you can go over the front. Uh, but I'm not choosing to do that right now. We're going to be covering this up with the gloss glaze. Okay, so just center that up good. 
and you can always go in with your exacto knife and trim it up um, at the end so I'm going to take this wax paper that I have here and again I'm just going to kind of look around you can see there's a bit of an edge that's fine I'm not worried about it just make sure everything's on good and I'm just going to take that wax paper and burnish through I'll start at the center and go outward all the way around get out any air bubbles okay and I'm not going to trim it up until everything is dried well which doesn't take long all right clean up anything around the edges I have a wet rag here all right and then for the the felt I'm going to take some of my Aileen's tacky glue and same thing I'm going to glue I think you guys can handle this do the same thing we'll burnish this as well and everything's nice and dry we'll come through and trim it up okay easy peasy Again, I'll smooth it down, make sure there's no air bubbles, clean it off, felt picks up everything. When this is nice and dry, we're going to come back and we'll trim it up with our X-Acto knife. And then you could leave the edging as it is if you'd like, if you don't want to bother with it. But I am going to put some of that purple cording um, just to edge it and tie it in nicely. So I'll see you back here when this is nice and dry. Okay, this is fairly dry right now, and I laid down a cutting mat so we can trim it up. And I'm just going to take my X-Acto knife and literally just go around. Be very careful. And it just comes right off. Okay, so just... I'm going to go all the way around, we'll trim it up real nicely, and the next step we're going to add that um, cording, okay? So let me grab that. Okay, this is all trimmed up now, and the next step I told you is optional. We're going to put some edging on this. You can use the trim of your choice. I happen to have this purple satin cording. Um, I'll put all the links below. I'm going to use once again the Aileen's clear tacky glue and literally we're just going to lay down all along the diameter of this in between the felt and the graphic kind of on that edge and you're going to want to measure the diameter of your CD I've done the hard work for you it's 15 inches and I've already cut a piece of the cording and it does get a little finicky and a little messy here but I didn't need to use any clips or anything I'm gonna start just at a random spot and I'm literally just going it'll lay nicely between the front and the felt there's kind of a natural ridge that formed there from doing that okay so we're just going to go all the way around and if your cord is too big obviously you can cut it if it's short it won't fit um, but that's about perfect all right 
Now, for drying purposes and also for putting on our um, gloss glaze, which is going to be our next step, I found it really handy to use, this is just a small candle, you could use a cup or anything, to set this on uh, to keep it up off the surface for it to dry, okay? So I'm going to let that dry and then our next step is to put the gloss glaze on. Okay, we're nice and dry here. And our next step is to add our top glaze. So again, I showed you, I'm going to use this Americana Triple Thick. It makes it really durable, makes the colors really pop. Um, I happen to like it a lot. It takes a while to dry, but once it does, you're set. You could use your decoupage or Mod Podge, any spray acrylic, uh, or nothing at all. So I'm choosing to use this stuff. Let's just brush some on. Again, I have an old paintbrush, and I still have this on the candle here so it can kind of fall off on the bottom. Let's put a little piece of wax paper underneath to catch any spillage. And I'm literally just going to kind of be very generous with this stuff. All the way. And once you get it on, try not to mess with it too much. Um, you can always add a second layer if you want when you're done. But I think it's really good. Anything that drips off the edge, you can just kind of pat with your finger. Okay? So, like I said, we'll let that dry. If you think you want to do a second coat, you can do that. I'll see you back here in a minute. Okay, to save time, I actually made this tile last night. So, let your tile dry overnight. This is nice and dry now. This was one coat of that gloss glaze, and you can see it just really makes everything pop. I'm not normally a glossy kind of girl, but I really love it. And if you're going to use this as a coaster or anything, it's perfect because it just will be, you know, it's not totally waterproof, but it will be water resistant. So, yeah, that being said, if you'd like to use this as a coaster, you're all done. Or just to have for your altar flat like that with the felt on the bottom. But like I said, if you'd like to display it on the wall, and I've already done this one, but you can see it's very self-explanatory. I just took one of these pop tops, and actually I like to bend it a little bit before I, there's just a natural bend here, um, because it helps it when you're sticking this on the wall, like on a nail, if it has a little bit of an angle to it. See how I did that? It bends very easily. If you're worried about it, put some gloves on. Um, and I took my E6000 and I just put the glue on this part and here and literally just placed it on the felt. And again, I let this dry overnight, but these work very well. If you have a little tack on the wall or a small nail, um, I'll show you footage at the end. I'll take a picture of how it looks on the wall. So that's an option. And then if you want to use a stand or anything, um, you have a couple options. I have this small wooden kind of a plate stand that would be perfect. All right. You could also use one of these little art easels. You can get these at Walmart or Michaels or anything like that online, Amazon. Um, or if you don't have any of those options, you could make a small wire you know, stand, and I'm going to show you how to do that right now, very easily, okay, I just whip this up, you could even wrap this, if you don't like the look of the wire, you could wrap it with floral tape, or, you know, cloth or anything, but all I did was, I had some leftover wire, I think I got this at the Dollar Tree, um, and I believe it's 18 gauge, so I'm just going to approximate a length here, um, let's say, I don't know, about 12 inches or so, and I'm just going to cut this, and 
then I bent it okay I'm just doing this quickly to show you this I've used this wire before so it's full of bends already but kind of approximate the center <coughs> excuse me and then I just kind of figured out that <laughs> and I'm gonna just twist these wires you guys twist twist all the way down if it gives you a problem you could put a nail or you know, I have these wire nose pliers here all right and then I'm just gonna make a little foot bend it and that's going to be what it rests on in the back, like that. And then for the front, just separate those two wires. And let me make these straight before I carry on here. I'm going to use just my round nose pliers and very simply make a little spiral. Okay, this is not perfect, and I'm okay with that. I like the look of that. And then I'm going to do the opposite side over here. Okay, looks like snail ears. And then I just pull them kind of to the front so the CD can rest uh, on them. You saw what I just did. And there you have it. Now, you're going to have to play with this to find the right angle and separate it out. But you should be able to rest your CD nicely. Like I said, if you want, you can wrap it. There you have it. So, you guys, wasn't this super simple and didn't it come out amazing? Let me know what you think. I would love to know what you think. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Please don't forget to go check out my gypsy sister, Miss Rita Marie. I'll put all links below, including links to our Facebook group, The Gypsy and Witch, where you can join us each month. We pick a different theme each month, and off we go. So, love to see you over there. And take care, you guys. I'll insert some pics, and I will see you soon. Take care. Peace and love. Here it is set up on my altar. And I'll show you what it looks like on the wall. And here it is as a wall decoration. So please let me know if you're inspired to create one of these or anything similar. I would love to see them. Tag me and I'll come check it out. Wishing you guys the very brightest of blessings. Peace and love.